Hi, and welcome to my SC200 certification exam. Um, rather, this is a list of demos uh, for those of you who are preparing for the uh, Microsoft Certified Security Operations Analyst Associate. For those of you who do not know about this exam, um, so Microsoft has become uh, a security company in, in the last couple of years, they have spent a significant amount of money in the cybersecurity space. So they have a whole bunch of cybersecurity related uh, uh, certifications. So the SC200, uh, again, it's a, it's a very good certification. There are a lot of jobs uh, in the market for people that uh, know this product. Now, again, this is not a beginner uh, certification. In order to uh, attempt to take something like this, you need to have some experience uh, with Microsoft 365, Microsoft Sentinel, and, and some of the uh, Microsoft uh, uh, service security products, right? Uh, in this certification, you will learn to investigate, uh, search for, and mitigate threat using Microsoft Sentinel, uh, Microsoft Defender for cloud, and Microsoft 365 Defender. This is the list of demos that will be covered in this entire uh, uh, playlist of videos, this, this class, whatever. Uh, you can consider this, again, as a kind of like hands-on uh, preparation for, uh, for, this, uh, for this certification. Microsoft Learned has uh, excellent uh, preparation material for a lot of courses and obviously they have a lot of good material for the Microsoft Security Operations Analyst. I, I will be uh, posting this a link on, on my website uh, so that you can accompany this. There's a lot of reading material here completely free that Microsoft offers for this certification. So you can use this to accompany with, uh, with the demos as well. And uh, here is more of that, um, uh, of that list of, uh, that, that list of, um, uh, of material that I was just talking about. Uh, demo one is um, explore Microsoft 365 Defender. In this first task, you'll assign Preset Security Policies for Exchange Online Protection, or EOP, and Microsoft Defender for Office 365. Follow the prompts to complete this task. In the Microsoft 365 Defender portal, scroll down the left pane and select Policies and Rules. Next, select Threat Policies. Next, select Preset Security Policies. Under Standard Protection, select Manage Protection Settings. First, specify the recipients to apply Exchange Online Protection to. Select Specific Recipients. Under Domains, start typing your tenant's domain name and then select it. This configuration will apply policies for anti-spam, outbound spam filter, anti-malware, and anti-phishing. Click Next. Next, specify the recipients to apply Defender for Office 365 Protection 2. Apply the same configuration as the previous step. This configuration applies policies for anti-phishing, safe attachments, and safe links. Continue through the wizard. Review and confirm your changes. Select Done to finish. Under Strict Protection, select Manage Protection Settings. On the Apply Exchange Online Protection step, 
select specific recipients. Under Groups, type Leadership and then select it. Click Next. On the Apply Defender for Office 365 Protection step, apply the same configuration as the previous step and click Next. Continue through the wizard. On the Policy Mode step, ensure Turn on the Policy After I Finish is selected, and then click Next. Select Confirm to apply the changes, and then select Done to finish. This task is now complete. Click the screen to continue. In this next task, you'll prepare the Microsoft 365 Defender workspace. Follow the prompts to complete this task. Scroll down the left pane and select Settings. Next, select Microsoft 365 Defender. The new space has been prepared successfully and you can now see the Microsoft 365 Defender settings for your account, preview features, alert service, and streaming API. This task is now complete. Click the screen to continue. This interactive lab simulation is now complete. Thank you for watching. If you find this uh, useful, uh, please um, like my video, subscribe to my channel. I will keep this up to date and I will add a lot more videos in the future, but I really need your help. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me at learn at cybersecurityoy.com or hoy.com. Uh, you could also visit my uh, blog at cybersecurityhoy.com and I will have a list of all these videos in a single place, uh, you know, for, for your convenience. So I hope that you follow me in this journey. See you then.